when you're watching a porno you go for the big one or the little one well i guess you ain't that gay then are you <laughs> fuck you carol baskin you dumb bitch nerds i am wildfire one you're watching and listening to nerds the new sexy entertainment the podcast all you cool cats and kittens with me today Don't is ever fucking that again. <laughs> ever that again. hey maybe i'll get away with murder <laughs> but with me today is grizzly mcbee what's up y'all hey everybody this is episode 123 we're talking about Tiger King. Tiger King. And that dumb bitch, Carol Baskin. I got, I get messages from both like Sam36 and this guy who are like, they're just like, you gotta watch, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch Tiger King. So I, I finally watched it and you want to talk about a shit show. Like I was talking to my dad about it. I've gotten my dad to watch right. it. And I, honestly, like these are people I don't want to meet in real life. None of them. None of them. Not one of these fuckers no. do I ever want to like associate with. All of them are bad in one way or another. Like uh, I think the only one that's not is oh. um, the the chick that um, that wants to be a dude that got her arm bit off. She oh seemed, yeah, like, uh, that person seems to be um, probably legit. the lesser of all evils. Like probably the 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 cool the coolest like maybe the one I would hang out with, but at the same yeah. time maybe not. Yeah. You know. Because um, the the camera only says so much about people. Like there's there's mm -hmm. you know that there's uh, that person stuck around for money obviously, but there's probably more to it than that. They might have been loyal, you know. So let's get into the basics here. Like let's talk. Tell us a little bit about the Tiger King, Grizz. Uh, a gay mullet wearing, gun toting, redneck, meth head. Uh, that ran for president. Yeah. And then ran for the governor of Oklahoma, of all places. And he runs a big cat zoo, as it were. Joe Exotic is his name. Uh, I forgot what his full real name was. That's the name he kind of just went with. Yeah, he runs a big cat resort. And he's, I guess, a big cat person. Uh, that was a thing for a while, uh, especially like the '90s and the the noughties or two thousands. It's insanity. The, the the show the the documentary starts off with is cat people are crazy, and this shows you that the they are, are crazy. they're fucking insane. Like, well, let's put it this way: you have Joe Exotic, who is like this crazy homosexual redneck who shoots guns and and basically sh points guns at people and, and just you know basic basically breaks all the rules like like he's he's a nightmare for like the nra if you think about yeah. it yeah uh, yeah anyone anyone who handles you know firearms responsibly looks at, watches that and just is like holy fuck me batman no thank you you know and then you got the doc guy who basically runs a fucking cult because all these women are calling him yeah. some language that translates into God. You want to talk about insanity, and then you got Carol Baskin, you know, brainwashed everyone into working for free, thinking that her husband just up and left yeah. to Costa Rica. But like, she's got these hundreds of people, you know, volunteering at her big cat rescue. How you get that many people? volunteer and not pay them and she still rake in millions and millions and millions of dollars well she married year. her husband was a millionaire or you know, or, you know he had a lot of money the one that she killed yeah yeah the one that she fucking knocked off she still makes millions of dollars a year by all the ticket sales and everything for big cat rescue but doesn't pay her employees a single cent well that's just one aspect of it i mean the whole time she's 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 more or less protesting against everyone else that's doing what she's doing. She wants to monopolize her uh, her business. Mm -hmm. She wants to be the only one yep. in the game. From from what I saw on the the uh, on the Netflix series, it, it just looks like that she's trying she's trying to manipulate the system so that she can make the most money out of this. Yeah. Now none of these guys, like I said, none of these guys are they're not legitimate people. 
from what they're I from what I could see. Human yeah, they're so. not decent human beings. Someone's using someone for some some something or another, according to this. Yeah. The basic gist of it is Carol Baskins against Joe Exotic, or vice versa, depending on how you want to look at it. And uh, they've been fighting for years. Like she's been doing her best to kind of fight all these big cat, other big cat rescues, while she's doing the same. Uh, yeah. And, and and Joe Exotic kind of got his own web series. Uh, uh, Joe Exotic TV. <laughs> yeah, he had his own web series for the longest time, and I guess he did some some reality TV show shoots kind of thing. I don't know how far that would have went and according to the show. It looked it sounded like it was going to happen, but that's beside the point. They they did all this and the whole time he's talking about killing, like not I'm not he uses the word kill that bitch several times while he's got a gun. He's toting a gun, you know, and and the, after a certain time in this country, there was a point where you couldn't say the words I'm going to kill that bitch and not be taken seriously. You had to be like responsible for what you said, and this motherfucker missed yeah. that memo. <laughs> Which is why he got brought up on nineteen felonious counts. <laughs> yeah, but they the the thing that really got him was the you know the uh, the mistreatment of the cats. He killed like six cats. Yeah, because well, I'm, I'm sure at least one of those charges were um, death threats. Well, of course. I mean, had they had to have been. He was blowing shit up and you know it's and he he's married uh, i guess what three people in the long run towards the end and the end he had he had three he had three husbands at one point well, he's not together to guys at the same time yeah and he's married and to some other dude now after the one of them left and the other one some other kid yeah and the other one blew his head off um that was i would hate i'll just say this right now i'd hate to have been in in that room for that situation like yeah. Uh, the way that went down, according to the Netflix show, just watch it for sure. But like, hundred percent watch it. This is before we go any further. Hundred percent watch this show if you're interested, because it, it gives you so much information. Like this is this is a shit show, and you just can't put it down. It's like watching a train wreck. You can't stop watching. Um, One of the shittiest documentaries I've ever watched, but I could not put it down. Yeah. Um, back to. Joe's husband, uh, Joe's uh, one of Joe's uh, Zox husband, the one that ended up killing himself. Uh, he was pointing a gun at some, one of the, at, uh, Joe's uh, political advisor. Yeah, he was pointing a gun at him, and he's like, "Don't do that! Stop doing that!" And he says, "You know," he said, "Oh, the Ruger won't go off without without a clip," and he pointed at his head, and <laughs> unfortunately, it went off. I that's why I say I didn't want, I wouldn't want to be present for that. Like that's horrifying that is something the guy that was talking like the, the the political advisor was talking about it it was way more calm than i could have been like i was i would have been in tears yeah you just witnessed someone kill themselves and not even purposely the guy didn't do it because he wanted to die he did it because he was trying to prove a point and he was on drugs yeah he was uh, a big meth head you know i believe right was it meth yes. weed and weed you know, it's, it's just, it's too bad because Joe also manipulated his younger men, but he manipulated the younger kind of, you know, naive type. And that's I only, I'm only saying that because a lot of other people said that on the show. But give us, give us a highlight, Grizz. So throughout the documentary said that not just Joe Exotic, but also um, Doc, they were breeding tigers in captivity. Yeah, um, which is illegal. At, at one point, it became to, illegal. Yeah, uh, to make money um, on the kittens to sell them to like zoos and what have you. Well, it turns out that um, it explains that Doc, uh, once the kittens got to a certain age to where they weren't making him money. He would put them in a gas chamber and then burn them. He would, yeah, he was supposedly put, killing them probably the least humane way possible. And that guy, like, out of all of them, he's probably my least favorite. I don't like, maybe because he's getting all this pussy because of the cats, all the all this, you know, he's, he's, he's basically mind-washing these, brainwashing these poor females into working for him and fucking them. Like, it's a cult. It's not, not no kidding. That is a... That's exactly what it is. It's, it's, it's a major cult. And it's it's then maybe that's why I don't like it. Like I it just pisses me off because he's just taking advantage. But then again, they all are. 
the the end of the the last episode. Yeah. Um, not the recap. Did you watch after the um, after the credits? No, I think I missed that. Because of I guess what Joe Exotic's given to the feds, uh, Doc's whole compound got raided in December of 2019. Well, good for him. That, I would have felt a lot better if I saw that. I'm glad to know that because Doc was probably my least favorite. Each one of them did manipulate someone or another. Like Joe was bad about manipulating people like that just got out of prison. Mm-hmm. He would, he would, I mean, you know, he would well, say he was helping. Yeah. He say he was helping people, but he was also an asshole. Like he would fire them left and right. Just, just, just to be on, cause he was he on camera. Does. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think he tried to make it look like it was Pawn Stars or some shit, but he, uh, yeah. He did okay. So he was he Joe manipulated like the people were down on their luck. Uh, Doc manipulated just about every everyone he could as far as like making a cult and getting people in and fucking these young ladies. He had multiple young wives, virgin females. Yes, he loved. Yeah, yeah, loved. And they had him. I forget what the name was, but it it translated to like Lord or God or some shit like that. And, and shit yeah, like that, yeah. And and he, that just what's that tell you? He's just full of himself. Fuck that guy. You know, like no one, no one should be like that. No one should have that high a fuck. If you think you're a god, man, you got some issues. Like maybe your parents didn't give enough attention to you when you were a kid or some shit. But something's wrong. You think you're a god? Come to my house. I'll beat it at you. <laughs> he means sexually. Join his cult. Hey, all, all I gotta say is you'll do anything for mess. <laughs> <laughs> And, and okay, so his first Joe's Exotic's first two husbands. Um, he met the first one when the dude was nineteen, down on his luck. Wanted to pet a bear, Start. I believe. Was it that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the one that got the new teeth. So uh, none of them were really gay, homosexual yeah, either. No, no. Joe Exotic started giving him free meth because he was on meth mm-hmm. and in response he had to be his gay partner um, by the time oh, that's the right. second husband had come around he was no longer on meth because he had been cheating on Joe with the um, the female the snap bar chick and got her pregnant yeah <laughs> and right after she got pregnant he got off the meth that I like that but he, you know I will say this for Joe Exotics like crew he had a very like motley crew like a lot of people were like diff- different strokes from different folks kind of thing and it was yeah. really really yeah. cool uh it seemed they seemed like a lot of cool down to earth people i mean at least they seem that way you never know how someone really is until you meet them but um like it's just some of them i'd be like ah you know i'd be down to like maybe have a beer with them but i wouldn't want to maybe <laughs> bad shit happens to anyone End up end up getting roofied and wake up with your pants on backwards. You know, it's... Why am I in a tiger cage? <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> Carol Baskin. And she's the worst. She's she's probably, like I said, I said Doc's the worst. She's probably the second worst, in my opinion. Like, the less of all evils is Joe. Joe was pretty, pretty fucking horrible. Like, Joe Exotic oh, was... easily the less of the three. But out of the three, easily. he's... Or even the four, because we're not even counting the guy that took Joe's fucking... <laughs> Joe, Joe was using that motherfucker. You can't say he wasn't because he was using that dude's money. But oh, that guy was an right. asshole too. Like, yeah, I can't remember what that guy's name is. It was the guy that was using cats to get laid and 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 going to Vegas. And and him and his wife were swingers. And they got you know. And that's cool. Like hell, fuck yeah. I'm I'm down for that. I'm not down for the cult thing. But I'm down if you can get if you're gonna use like he said if I'm gonna use pussy to get pussy I'm down for that I'm Jeff Lowe Jeff Lowe it, it's sad because that's an easy name to remember he yeah. just looks like a douchebag he kind of looks like one of those wannabe biker guys like that's full of himself on the after show everyone agreed on one thing Carol Baskin killed her husband oh yeah what about okay well let's talk about the part where uh, Joe Exotic got attacked by the cat oh yeah uh, he's in there with his with his cane and his knee brace. <laughs> trying to do this commercial or some shit. It, it was a thing for his and, uh, uh, for his, his his political shit. And uh, there's two tigers in the cage. Well, next thing you know, one comes up and starts sniffing at his foot. Won't leave his foot alone. And then, and then just bites down into his foot and starts, like, flips him up 
onto the ground, starts dragging him. So he starts beating the living dog shit out of this tiger with pulls his Pulls his cane, pistol out. And then pulls out his pistol. I'll shoot you in the face, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Listen to him curse like it was fucking hilarious, to be honest with you. Like when he, when he lost it, when he would go on his rants, it was fucking hilarious. Because he's got that really high-pitched voice, like a high-pitched Texan <laughs> voice. And... And uh, he, he just go off and I'm tired of you, you motherfuckers. Carol Baskin, you, you a dumb bitch. Fuck that bitch, Carol Baskin. Yeah, but that that part where like where he got attacked by the tiger. Supposedly he said that there was a uh, oil. Someone put some oil on his shoes or or not. No, nobody ever said that there was anything on his shoes until it got to the point to where they were interviewing Carol Baskin, and she said, "Well, if I was going well." If someone was going to do something, they should use sardine oil in their shoes. Mm, I guess where he said they said he said something about um, cologne, like they put cologne because they liked the. And she said something like, "If if they'll just nibble and lick it, but if it was, if it was if someone was going to attack, sardine it'd oil, be sardine oil. It. It's yeah, something that they want to eat. Yeah. yeah, and that makes sense. I mean, interesting though. Did it turn out to be sardine oil? I don't know. Because everyone, I, after I watched it, everyone was asking me, what would you think of that? And I'm like, there's no, there's no real point. Like, there's no hard evidence stating that it happened other than that she said if I was to do that. Which makes her no better than Joe saying, I'm going to kill that bitch, you know, or whatever he said on, on his show. It's just very incriminating. Yeah. As far as, as far as the documentary goes, it's a very good documentary. I would say watch it, those of you who haven't. Like, it came out at the right time, to be honest. Like... Yeah. With, this, with the whole coronavirus thing going around and everyone kind of having to be in the house. And it just came out at the right time. I, w- I don't think I'd have watched it if, well, one, if people haven't told me about it. And two, because I was kind of like watching it going, uh eh. What would you think of the after show? A lot of people said, Honestly, that. according I, to the internet, think, they hated it. Well, yeah. I, I think the guy that hosted it, uh, Joel, whatever his name Mikhail. is. Mikhail. Yeah, um just wanted money because he just had a show on Netflix. He got canceled. canceled, yeah. So it's, he was just wanting some of that that Tiger King money. Yeah. yeah. A lot of those jokes were like kind of felt forced. Like It, it was like he was trying to be yeah. like on his show that got canceled. And uh, I mean, some of it was funny. Some of it was like, uh, <laughs> kind of a pity laugh. But other, it, some of the questions were cool. Like, it was cool he's asking these people questions supposedly from the internet. Like, who would play yeah. who on a movie, or if they made a movie, or, uh, you know, if <laughs> you really think Carol Baskin killed her husband, and that's a thumbs up all the way around from everybody. Oh, yeah. They did, they even did kind of like a reenactment of some of that shit, too, which it was almost like we were watching one of those old uh, 90s crime shows at one point. Oh, and it also came out in, what was it, the, the after show? Mm-hmm. The, in all of Joe Exotic's music videos not him singing i could have told you that though because when he was in the car singing to to the, his song to the song that was supposedly no, his nothing, didn't sound yeah, like nothing it. Up. you hear that rap he did it sounds nothing like when he sang and also also they said supposedly that he's afraid uh, joe was right, afraid of he's cats definitely afraid of big cats yeah so every time they were with him every time he was with a cat in a cage or something along those lines one was either like blind and the other one was heavily sedated I know, except I for the ones that attacked him. <laughs> except for the ones that attacked him, they wanted that that sardine oil. Because how many episodes is this? Is the is the uh, um, is the show? I don't. It's got to be like seven to ten episodes. Yeah, something like that. And there's a lot of information. Like I I would watch it while I would cook. Like I said, you can't look away. It's because you'll miss something. Yeah. yeah, it's insanity. It it just it's a constant reminder of there are crazy ass people out there. Yeah, you know, and, and I seriously do think that, to a point, Jeff Lowe and that Mr. Clean guy, I don't remember his name, um, did set up oh, Joe? Joe to a point. I think so, too, because Jeff Lowe really wanted, he wanted what Joe had, I think. You know, Joe was, and Joe was a dumbass to let him, to let him sign for it. But at the same time, yeah. he was kind of against the wall, like. Carol Baskin was taking everything. She spent like over two mil just trying to ruin Joe. 2.5. Fuck. Way too much money to spend just to just to prove a point. Yeah. You know? That's too much money and too much effort and too much trouble. Like, yeah, did Joe deserve it? 
to an extent, yes, he did. But the whole, I think the whole reason was because they were they were fighting each other to begin with. You know, yeah. The, the she started a beef, or he started a beef, and and it just went on and on and on. It could have just stopped if someone just fucking was an adult. Yeah. But they're both batshit crazy. So. <laughs> what about that picture? And they even mentioned this in the after show. That picture of uh, Carol Baskin and her current husband. Uh, the wedding oh, picture. The wedding pictures. Yeah. Yeah, where he's dressed like a tiger. Well, all, all it's all dominatrix looking and shit. Yeah. yeah. That's fucking bad shit crazy. Like, I mean, behind doors, that's cool. Closed doors, if you're into that, that's cool. That's great. I love that shit. I'm into some kinky shit, too. But, like, you're trying to be a public figure for your... For for what you're representing. You're trying to be... Yeah. Like, this... this that's just hell of inappropriate. Like that's like me getting on on the internet tomorrow and nothing but like nipple tassels and and dick a dick tassel and just swinging it around and going, ha, ah, there's a new sexy entertainment. It it just won't work. It's fucking weird. You no, know, what you need is what you need is one of those little uh, fruity drink umbrellas. Is that a dick you joke? A dick tassel. You just you, yes, it was a dick oh, joke. Okay, it was a bad dick joke. That makes you a bad dick. But at least uh, I'm not a cat or kitten. <laughs> God, what do you think of that too? Like she's got her own show. They put a lot of money in. Like they actually did some stuff a lot of the YouTubers do with the, uh, with the uh, you know green screens. And I think Joe actually had some good shit there. That li- that little circular green screen setup he had mm-hmm. was actually really cool. Um, I think Netflix is going to get a lot of shit though because she has a lot of followers on social media. Oh yeah, they so mean they they, they villainized that her. bitch. They villain. Oh, yeah. I mean, she wasn't like happy. A- a murder and a murderous bitch. Yeah. I mean, not saying that she isn't, but. Well, I mean, I, I, I everything I see on Facebook, like I'll get on Facebook and everyone, everything is not like Carol didn't do it. It's fuck that bitch, Carol Baskin. That's <laughs> all you see. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and and I will agree with this. I think a lot of people, I think Joe Exotic was all about getting himself, doing everything he could to get himself out there, to get his name, get rich, and get get popular, get known. He's a very uh, kind of an attention hog. I think that it, it's probably killing him now that he's so so like well known, but he's stuck. You know, he's stuck in, in prison. Like they said in the after show, they don't have Netflix in prison, so nobody in prison knows who the fuck he is. I mean, I'm sure he's told everybody by now, in there. <laughs> and I'm sure he's got all kinds of gay lovers. You know who I am? I'm Joe Exotic. Have, and he doesn't even have to give them meth. They'll just do it because they're in prison. What about what do you think of that that thing he said about the um, the lock that he keeps on his walls? Those little those little padlocks. He says it. Oh, a dick piercing. He's yeah. got a he, he's he's got a um, a Prince Albert. Prince Albert, and they don't make it big enough, so he has to wear that. I think he's full of himself. I think he's full. I think he's full of shit. I think that was a fucking lie. Yeah. I mean, just one of those types of guys will say anything on camera to make himself look better. Yeah. Does does he have a heart? I think he does. Joe Exotic. I think to an extent, I think he has a heart. I think a lot of it's an act. Like when his his whatever husband shot himself, I think that some of those tears were real. Not not all of them. Yeah, but I mean, uh, a piece of shit or not, at, even at your husband's eulogy, you don't fucking tell. Your husband's mother and all the guests that even when you were feeling down, all he had to do was come up and put his balls in your face. Yeah. Put a smile. You don't say shit like that as a fucking thing. That was dumb as fuck. And especially like, in front of his Especially in front of his mother. Yeah, that was that was a bit much. Like I will say this though, and even the even the the, the amputee said this. Uh, Joe would supposedly give his shirt off his back for people. Like, he fed everyone for that Thanksgiving. Mm. And that I mean, I, honestly, there might have been, like, a second motive to that. But at the same time, like, it was nice he did it. I guess he did it every year. Yeah. He Was he the smartest individual? No. Not by far. Shouldn't have been handling cats. None of those people should be handling cats. I'm the type of person that, like, I, I get it. If they're not, they, they, it's a good place to have, like, a safe refuge for these cats. But obviously, this guy was putting them down, and so was the doc. You know, we don't know what these people do behind closed doors. We don't know what they're doing behind when the place is closed. We don't know if they're killing them. If they're, you know, it, it's it's not safe. And and so really, is it is it is it really an animal rescue? No, it's not. So the not best if place you're for them for money. Yeah, 
And the the best place for them is zoos. Like maybe uh, the government should actual put something together. Zoo. Yeah, an actual, actual fucking zoo, not someone keeping them as pets so they can fucking take pictures with them and you know get laid, and and all this other shit or 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 start a cult or all these other all these all these people that were doing this in the show were doing it all the wrong way. Oh yeah, and, and whether you agree or disagree, that's cool. But I this is just how I see it. You don't. I'm an I'm a normal person. If I started a cat. Re- uh, if I started like a big cat rescue, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Joe obviously didn't know what the fuck he was doing. Someone got their arm ripped off. I don't even think Carol Baskin knows what the fuck she's doing. None of these people know. They just well, learned from experience. Not. I mean, hell, she fed her husband to a, uh, a tiger. Jeff Lowe was even stuffing these cats in fucking like suitcases yeah, to get into hotels. and put them in hotels so he can have Party fucking with wild orgies him. with his wife. D- does that seem like something someone that really cares about the welfare of a cat would do? No. Should he have a rescue? No. You gotta look at. You gotta think about it this way. Like if you really, if you really care about the well-being of these animals, you gotta look at the people who are giving the well-being to these animals, supposedly. Mm-hmm. They're not there for themselves. Maybe at one point they were, but I'm just telling you what was supposedly fact from the show. And you, yeah, you can love these cats. You can love any animal, but you got to remember that the food chain is a thing. No, oh, definitely, definitely. And if it comes to us and tigers, they outrun us, man. But I don't care if there's a fence there or not. All I have to do is grab something. It, it took what she, what the amputee say, like 15 seconds to rip her arm off. 10 to 15 seconds, and it was, and it was done. Fuck that shit show. No. Uh, uh-uh. uh I like jerking off way too much. That's my rant for that, like, honestly. Uh, I'm not even the kind of guy that's, like, pro-animals or whatever. You know, I I, I think all, I, all life is precious. That's just how I look at it. It's just easy to see that someone, that when someone's trying to manipulate something to make a dollar. And no, in this and case, that's what all three of them did. In this case, that's what they were all doing. I don't think there was one person mm-hmm. on that show with then someone that, that was like a mainstream person, uh, like that low guy and all and his wife and all those. They're all there just to make a buck. That's all it is. It's and that's it's sad. All it is, yeah. Now, with that said, if you guys want to join the cult of nerds, the new sexy entertainment, you can uh, apply it down there. <laughs> Look at fucking Chris. He's like, yeah, yeah. The, the the sign up fee is uh uh sex with me. <laughs> Show me your boobies. Guys only. Eighteen to twenty three. <laughs> let and let us know what you think. Let us know what if there's 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 probably something we missed. There's probably a lot we missed. There's just, it's just a good it's a good Netflix series. Like it came out at the right time. It's entertaining as fuck. You just can't put it down. You can't stop watching. Yeah. Oh, it's cool to hold a kitten. Yeah. It is. It is cool to hold a baby, a baby tiger or whatnot, but ah uh, uh, no, uh uh-uh. uh, I'm afraid that bitch is gonna remember like wake up one night and it's gonna be like I don't know, full grown. It's gonna be like I'm gonna find that wildfire one guy. I licked him and he tasted amazing. <laughs> so with that, with that said and all that, uh, is there anything else you want to discuss? I'm just that that bitch did it. That bitch did that it. That bitch Carol Baskin killed her husband down. Fed his ass to a tiger. I'm broke. I got some bitch in Florida person charges on me. I don't think I can financially recover from this. <laughs> well, out of uh, one out of ten, what would you rate the series? Oh, probably an eight. Yeah, you know what? I gotta agree with you. An eight is probably perfect for it. Like, it's not a perfect ten, uh, mm. but it's perfect definitely ten up would there. be like uh, a season two and like. I don't know, five, ten years of uh, Carol Baskin getting arrested for the murder of her husband. Well, everyone wants to see the perfect ending. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unfortunately, this is real life. She's Even if she does, five, ten years from now, gets arrested, she still had how long being a billionaire or a millionaire? Yeah. You know, she still got to live the life. It'd be funny if her current husband fucking takes her out. <laughs> feeds her to the fucking cats uh, wouldn't that be like that'd be poetic that'd be, justice that would be fucking hilarious don't take what I'm saying the wrong way I don't want this woman dead I don't care like she's I really can give a shit about what happens to her like it's just it's just she's she's fucking guilty that's she needs to get eaten by a tiger that's what she needs she's guilty as fuck that's all it is oh easily 
Don't go after us, Carol Baskin. I can't afford a $2 million lawsuit. I got a shitty credit score. Come after me. I ain't got a fucking thing. I don't know. You might go to jail for killing some cats all of a sudden. But I've all been right. wrecking pussy since 1986. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Uh, with that said and done, we're going to end, end the episode. We'll see you next time. Till then, we want you to stay nerdy. And stay sexy. Always.